Section 47 of Wessex Poems by Thomas Hardy. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Libby Gone. Lines. Spoken by Miss Ada Rehan at the Lyceum Theatre, July 23, 1890, at a performance on behalf of Lady June's Holiday Fund for City Children. Before we part to alien thoughts and aims, Permit the one brief word the occasion claims. When mumming and grave projects are allied, perhaps an epilogue is justified. Our underpurpose has, in truth, today commanded most our musings, least the play, a purpose futile but for your good will, swiftly responsive to the cry of ill, a purpose all too limited, to aid frail human flowerlets sicklied by the shade in winning some short spell of upland breeze or strengthening sunlight on the level lees who has not marked where the full cheek should be incipient lines of lank flaccidity lymphatic pallor where pink should glow and where the throb of transport pulses low most tragical shapes from pole to line O wandering child, unwitting time's design, Why should art add thus to nature's quandary, And worsen ills by thus immuring thee, That races do despite unto their own, That might supernal do indeed condone, Wrongs individual for the general ease, Instance the proof in victims such as these. Launched into thoroughfares too thronged before, Mothered by those whose protest is no more. Vitalized without option, who shall say that did life hang on choosing, yea or nay? They had not scorned it with such penalty, and nothingness implored of destiny. And yet behind the horizon smile serene, the down, the cornland, and the stretching green, space, the child's heaven, Scenes which at least ensure some palliative for ill they cannot cure. Dear friends, now moved by this poor show of ours to make your own long joy in buds and bowers, for one brief while the joy of infant eyes, changing their urban murk to paradise, you have our thanks. May your reward include more than our thanks, far more, their gratitude. End of section 47